So what the heck are those noises? Well, uh, most of you are probably going to turn this off at this point, but if you want an explanation, I can basically run it down for you real quick. First, a visual demonstration. So, basically, that first noise that you're hearing is rod knock, which is what happens when the crankshaft down here at the bottom has had the bearing wear away due to there being no oil because you either forgot to change it or you might have run it down a little low. Uh, those parts are supposed to be tight as they rotate in a circle. And what has happened here is it has worn the bearing away. So basically, if you were to grab the connecting rod there and were able to jerk it up and down, it would go clink, clink, clink. And that sound is the slack being taken up every time the piston fires. You're hearing the two metal parts playing it against each other every time it fires. Internal engine components move incredibly fast whenever the engine is running. If you don't keep those lubricated, there's a lot of friction going on there and you don't want those parts wearing against each other. And if you don't change the oil or if you run it down and then once the engine gets old and turns into like a sludge, you're gonna start having problems kind of like what you heard in that first video. And once that happens, it's time to start shopping for a new car, unless you're actually gonna pay the money to get it rebuilt. Once the engine rod knock is started, you're putting the internal engine components under a amount of stress that they're not designed to handle. Uh, if you continue driving it like this, I'm not even kidding, within a matter of minutes, you're going to have some sort of catastrophic failure and the engine is going to spit one of the internal engine components out of the side of the block. Basically leaving you with a large hole and it's going to basically have fire explosion and everything and you're going to be stuck on the side of the road. As a good example... All right, now that I got that terrifying ordeal out of the way for you, the other sound that you heard in the later video, which happens to be coming from my old Cadillac here, is what we call piston slap. Um, bring the picture back up. Okay, there we go. So that basically is caused by the piston you see up here at the top. It's a little loose in the bore. And every time that it comes up and is basically doing its reciprocating motion, it's rocking back and forth slightly. And it's basically the sound of the piston hitting the engine block on the inside. That one, unlike the other one, will go away once the engine warms up and is not really something to be concerned about. Is it going to be an issue at some point? Perhaps, but engines will go like 100,000 miles with that kind of noise. And usually you can change a little bit of, put a little bit of thicker oil into it or something like that. And sometimes that'll solve the issue. On me in particular, this car is 49 years old. It was never really designed to run past five years, let's be honest. Back in the 70s, that's kind of their expected length for how long an engine is going to last. Um, but this particular car that I have behind me, once it gets up to operating temperature, that sound that I showed you in the video completely goes away. And it doesn't smoke or consume oil or do anything like that. I mean, it, it, it leaks it a little. It's, we'll be honest, it's 50 years old. But um, the second noise that's the kind of quieter one is not really something to be concerned about. But the, if your engine sounds like the first video that was coming from my, uh, a Buick, it's toast. It's time to either start looking at a new car or do all the machine work in order to fix that properly, which is going to require the engine to be removed and everything to be ground down and all that fun stuff. So um, if it's doing the first noise, stop driving it. If it's doing the second, then by all means, keep going. Just keep boiling it. Maybe change to a little bit of a thicker one and see if it goes away. Oh, like always, hope this is able to help you out in just diagnosing various engine sounds. If you hear that second sound that's kind of just a ticking sound that goes away once the engine warms up, hopefully you can take a sigh of relief and not be worried about having to go shopping for a new car anytime soon. Um, if you have any questions, comments, if you think I'm talking like an idiot, leave me a comment down there. I'll see if I can get back to you. If not, I'll see you in the next one.